That's me. You're watching Cheyenne Eats. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Cheyenne Eats. I'm Cheyenne and I love to eat. This week, as you can see, we are taste testing donuts. We have six donuts, which you can find around the nation and I'm taking the hard work out for you so you don't have to go and taste them all yourself. I'm gonna let you know to expedite the process which one is the best original glazed donut. If you haven't seen my previous taste test before, it is a blind taste test, so I do not know which donut is which along this row. No, I have never actually tasted original glazed donuts, so I will give my honest opinions and give them a rating from 1 to 10. Out of our six choices, we have Winchell's, 7-Eleven, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kreme, and Starbucks. So let's see which one is best. Our donuts have been heated up, they're warm, they're ready to be tasted. Just going to go ahead and dig right in. So, let's begin. Our number one. Fluffy, nice. I like this one. Mmm, <laughs> it's soft, it's very soft. And now, once again, just like the other videos, I may change my mind in the end if I decide that after tasting this one, the other ones may taste better. I may change my rating of this donut. But as of right now, I think I'm going to rate number one, I think a seven. If and when I ever do eat a donut, it will be probably, what's that one with the filling in the middle? I like the jelly ones. I like the jelly donuts. Guilty. I like jelly donuts. Guilty. Okay, so number two. So number two has more of a harder shell of the glaze, but the taste of the dough itself, I don't like it as much as number one. So I'm gonna give number two, let me taste it one more time. Mm. I feel like what's giving it the sweetness is just the glaze itself and not actually like, I feel like the dough is lacking flavor. Glaze was hard, the dough was not as good as the other ones, so. Number two, probably a three. Okay, so I just recorded an entire clip of me completely devouring number three and nearly devouring number four without realizing that my camera was off. So to break it down for you, number three was very, very, very soft in its dough and I really liked it and I gave it a 10. Number four then came up and competed with number three. So I'm gonna drop number three down to a nine and I'm gonna give number four a 10 because the dough of number four is actually better quality. It tastes sweeter, it just tastes You know quality when you know quality, and that's what number four is. And it was really hard for me to even make the decision of which one was better between number three and number four, but as of right now, number four is winning, although number three is a close competitor. Moving on to number five. This one actually looks very different, I mean, besides number six, which we all know which one number six is actually, which is the McDonald's one. I say that for last because I actually know what company that one's from. So number five, let's taste it. Mm-hmm. 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 I like it. I do. But it tastes more like a crumble, like an like a like a cake, more than a donut. You can even see in the consistency or also the top of it. It's not a donut. I don't mind it. I would eat it again, but it's not a donut. It's not a donut. It's a cake. It's a cake. It's not a donut. No. No. Surprisingly, even though number two and number one are more like donuts, I still like number five better than both two and one. But still, number five is not a donut. It's not even the consistency of a donut. So I gave number one seven. I would like to drop number one to a five and switch number five out of seven. So our last is our number six. I have it as last because I know which chain it's from. It's from McDonald's because of its special shape, so I'm not gonna lie, I know which one this one's from. Based on my last video of where I've compared McDonald's foods, I haven't really been so impressed, so that's why I saved it for last because I feel like it's not really that important. But I was just very curious to try out their new pull apart glazed donut. Oh my god, once again. Ah, maybe I can try another piece from like the middle. I do like the idea of pulling apart all the pieces, I think that's cute. Okay, so this is the middle piece. Let's try it out. You can see, when I pull it away, it's kind of tough. Hmm. It tastes like, strangely enough, that the dough might be burnt. 
Oh my gosh. The flavor of everything. I'm not even gonna point out like specifics. It's just so bad. I just, no. Zero. Zero, zero, not even one. Zero for the last one. So our top three. Three, two, and one. Our third one, Starbucks. Impressive, but still not a donut. Now, these are the remaining of the two winners because they were so darn good that I had to nearly devour them. But I wanted to save some so that I could then finish the video. So our number two is Winchell's. Wow, cool. So that leaves our winner to be Krispy Kreme. Woo! Everyone, when I told them the list of donuts that I was doing today, they all suspected that this would be the winner. Mmm, so good. Oh, I love this show and I love you guys and I thank you all for your suggestions. I love that I get to taste some new foods that I would never usually eat before. Like, I never go out and buy donuts, actually. My go-to dessert is ice cream or cookies. So that may just be my next week's episode of Cheyenne Eats. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to try for next week's episode. Bye, guys! If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Catch next week's episode of Cheyenne Eats.